So what happened was we considered that opinion um, thoroughly. Um, we explored all the laws in our opinion that border around this issue. And we still came to an independent opinion, which we stand by on any day, that those revenues ought to have formed part of the petroleum revenues of Ghana and ought to have been deposited first in the petroleum holding fund and not any other account. So for us, it was contrary to law for that money to have been deposited in any account, if at all. Meanwhile, the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation says the finance minister committed no wrong in depositing the amount in an offshore account. Deputy CEO Joseph Darcy was testifying at the ad hoc committee. Was any money paid into an offshore account? The 100 million, was it paid into an offshore account? So, so Honorable Chair, I think, I think the word offshore, when we use, I mean, for those who are bankers, I mean, you can even have an offshore account in Ghana. So, I think the word, when we say offshore, sometimes I get a bit confused because the Bank of Ghana has certain categorizations of, uh, what do you call it, foreign currency. And so, what we call FCA, of offshore account. But to the extent that, uh, the, the question relates to a uh, receipt from, uh, from sale of crude. Yeah, it was paid into an account held at Ghana International Bank in London. Okay, and who made the payment? So the buyer, the buyer of the crude. So buyers of the crude, even in the case of PHF, the buyers of the crude pay, pay directly into the PHF. So they pay directly into whichever account that you designate for them to pay.